Martin returns at five past two this afternoon to solve the case of the calendar girl. But first, Simply Painting with Frank Clark. What you see is the grand splendour of the countryside in the foothills of the Dublin mountains, which in itself would make an ideal subject to inspire anyone to take up a brush and palette to paint a pretty picture. I'm Lee Tuhi, and once again we're back with artist Frank Clark to find out how easy it is for an amateur like myself to paint watercolours while at the same time learning a few tricks of the trade. So now let's go to join our mentor Frank Clark. In this session, under Frank's guidance, I will attempt a snowscape. There we are, Lee. Your paper is your. You don't have white paint, so what we leave off is your snow on this occasion. And we're painting in portrait rather than landscape. In other words, we're painting upright. All right? So very briefly, to just recap, we're using our paper, a 140-pound paper, watercolour paper. We have a white tray or plate. We have our big brush. A big And fella. we have our little brush. A right? little fella. And, of right. course, we have our pencil. And have some more fun. Horizon, sky, middle and foreground. So, will we start? So, let's first of all draw our picture. Now, now this is the hard bit. This is the hard bit. Yes. So. All right. I draw a straight line right, right across. Right across. Okay. Excellently. Well, that's our drawing completed again. This time, I'm going to do a tiny bit more. We're just going to just very roughly draw in. See our mountains. And there's a reason for that, as you'll see in a minute. This time we're going to paint the picture upside down. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. surprises. Oh, oh yes. I, I so hate So we just surprises. put it that way like that. Now, you see that? Isn't that nice? <laughs> this is an Australian picture, you see. I didn't tell you it was an Australian snow scene, did I? Uh -huh. Well, the idea is this, that as we have it upside down, we can now paint right up tight to our mountains without the fear that the paint will run up paper, will it? It can't run up the paper, can it? Unless if we left the way around, we would have been fighting a stream of water running down <laughs> the thing. And we don't want an avalanche just yet. So, okay, let's do the same thing again now. Let's wet our palette. Okay, right. Just wet, just wet our palette. There he is. Wet the palette. Wet the palette. Now. And then wet the paper. Now, no, remember what I told you now? I want you to draw around this. Oh, I see. So you've got to draw this time with your brush. get very right? meticulous. Yes, very so you start on the far side and I start on this side and we'll meet it somewhere in the middle. Very there good. Go. Now come on, down the whole lot. Yeah, so that's good. Nice. Lovely, that's lovely. Plenty, that's lovely. Now we want to put out our okay. paint. Because we're going to paint it. It's uh, all right, it'll go away eventually. Uh, have a look at what we're going to do. We're going to do a snow scene with a moon and a nice tree, hopefully, which is not in the centre again, as I said. So we start off now and our colour at the horizon isn't quite as dark as the bottom, is it? No, so, not quite. Okay. So we'll put out our yellow, lemon yellow, and we'll put out some Elysian crimson. This is the first time we've used Elysian crimson. Elysian crimson. Elysian crimson. It's a very red red. You want to be awfully careful yeah. with it. If you put too much out, you'll have a, a gaudy red. Now, we're going to start from the top, and then about halfway, we'll start to introduce our purpley colour, which mm -hmm. is our blue. See, mm -hmm. once again, we're using the minimum number of colours, and we're creating the colours ourselves, rather than expecting to... You see people rush in and they'll buy violet, they'll buy red, they'll buy yellow, they'll buy another yellow. There's no need for that. We use the one tube. So, okay, into the brush now. Okay. And then into the water, and now mix those two. So, I'll show you. In the centre of your palette there, get some yellow and some red until you get something like, look, not too gaudy. That's very good. Very good. Now, that goes on. Look, and it goes on like that, Lee. Come on, you down this other side to meet me now. Okay. Now you let me know. Oh, very good. Well, come on up. No, you can't be too thick. <laughs> well, it's, it's very difficult for an Irishman to be thick, isn't it? Oh, nice. Look at that. Now come on down the page a bit. Okay. Oh, we're painting a door this time because look at it's a kind of. Are we a, going all the way down? No, on just this. that's far enough now. Okay. Now come in now, back down again to your thing, me, Jake, and now into your red 
I get lucky, a red, you know, Elysian crimson in there, into, into and the some red. blue. Now, I've no blue, Frank. Oh, you have. You never gave me any blue. You any blue You're getting mean with the, your yes, paints I again. Well, I thought, yes, you didn't pay me for the last ones, ladies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we are. Yeah. Some red yeah, on this. Some blue on my hands and everything. Yes, lovely. That's it. And mm. you create a lovely cherry colour. You'll see it now, lovely purple. Now, come oh. on now. Up, Am I up. there with my shade, yes? That's lovely. Come on, up you go. Now, let's get at this Okay. Thing. Now, where do I go Just with this? Just everywhere. Oh, it's oh, painted all, right. all over. Plenty of water on it. Don't be afraid of it. And that's uh, some more blue there. Now, come on, we're going right down, see, that's it, right down to the bottom. Come on now. Plenty of blue towards the bottom. And red. Now, watch this now. Now, there's a bit of a, a trick. funny looking trick there. I'm going to just smarten it out, so we just bring it up that way. All right. Now, let's turn that horizon around back to where it was again. We're back from Australia now. Is it dry? It used to be dry at the bottom, it won't run too much. And you see, we now have a nice bluish, purpley, yellowy sky, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Just for safety, just around this. So. That's all we need to do this time. It's just to stop the paint running down over our mountains. So I guess finish. you. Now, we have a moon, if you notice, uh, behind the tree, Lee. Yeah, you, but so. you said we don't use white paint. Well, no, we don't. We have our... Moon brush. You haven't seen a moon brush. A moon brush. Know, no, you it? haven't sh this shown is, me a moon this brush. Is, this is the moon brush. You're joking. Yes, no, this is the moon brush. And the moon brush, you see, let me show you now. The moon brush works very simply. If I put the moon brush up like that, and I do that, I keep doing it like that. Eventually, if I keep going, I get a huge, big moon. I don't want it too big. Just a piece of tissue, then? Well, it's not tissue, actually, but, but yes, quite right, yes. Any kind of paper, you'll find it anywhere. Ordinary paper, once it's blotting paper, tissue just paper. And rub, rub it out. Yes, that's right. Bathroom paper. And you have your moon. As Sorry. simple as that. As simple as that. Now, we All leave right. that. Don't touch it anymore. And that's our moon brush. You can dispense with your moon brush once you finish with it. And we've now painted our sky. So we have now got to think about the middle ground. Now, if you look at the middle ground in this case, there's not very much in it, is there? It's no, not, not a lot. lot. In fact, we're only going to relate some of the colours from the sky to the mountain to show there's the shadows on the mountains behind the tree, all right? Mm -hmm. So let's look at it now. Now always let me put to you, don't forget to look at what you're painting. I've noticed that people, you hand them, they have their sketch or whatever it is, they have it beside them, and away they go, and they seem to forget what they have beside them, and they paint something which is totally different. Keep it more or less the same. I don't ask you to yeah. copy slavishly, but at least look yeah, at it now. Keep a check on it. Now you have it. So let's get some of this purpley colour now which is this one here. You put a little bit more blue into it there before you... That's, well, that's, uh, that is a lot of blue you put into it. Now you better put more red in. Yeah, some of this Like the moon brush, that's right. That's good, that's good. Now, am I... Now, just, just keep getting a, a bit, bit more red. red. That's lovely. Now you're getting the idea. You yeah. keep adding to it. Take a little bit of time in these things. doesn't do any harm to... You know, don't rush it make, mixing your colours. There they are. You'll now. see it is nice and white on you. Now, look. You start on this side, look, here's all we're going to do, look, a little swipe like that. Oh, a little swipe here and, and there, a little swipe yeah. like that. And you do this, no, oh my goodness me, what's that? That's rather a big swipe you have. Yeah, Well, okay. look, no, just let me show you now. To get out of that, let's do that. See, remember yeah. they said about, oh, once you put on a watercolour, you can't put it right. Of course you can. Do another little slob there. Yeah. And you made sure you. now it's not as dark as it was. I should lighten that slightly, Lee, by putting yeah. it back into the water. Back into the water. And dip it well in. Yeah, give it a good yeah. shake and now, now dry it on your... Now you're right. Now dip no. it into your paint again. Into the paint. That's it. Now just another little okay. swipe. Do I go over this again? Oh, no. Well, it's anywhere at all. It doesn't oh, really I see. Here, wherever yeah. you think there should be a little shot. That'll do lovely. Okay, that's it. And a little one down No, here. I wouldn't go right down. The, uh, okay. You're now painting the foreground before you paint it to finish the middle ground. So, we now... The reason we're doing all this messing around here is that we're trying to let this paper dry because we don't want to put our tree in while the paper's wet. If you do, it'll spread. And a good way to, to check if your paper is dry is if you look at a paper sideways, and if there's a gloss on it, you'll see it, the yeah. gloss, it's yeah. not dry. If it's dry, it, it's, it's a matte finish. And if you always bear that in mind when painting watercolours, it's better to leave them an extra minute to dry than to go at them when they're wet, because if you do, It'll spread like blotting paper, and you'll ruin many, many a picture. And indeed, I've done it many a time where you get that little bit impatient, and off you go. So we're just, uh, I think we're nearly ready. Look, 
where you're going to do it, you can have a little check. People say, oh, you shouldn't put your finger on the thing, but I do, it doesn't matter. Yeah, well, you'll be mm. painting over that anyway. Yes, of course, that's right, yes. So, look, at, let me give this another little blast up along where we're going to paint the tree. Now, I think we're about right there. So, now, so let's centre where our tree is first. Our tree is... About two thirds across, is it? Now you set it. And we need our little brush. Oh, the little, so the little brush. Comes out again. Yes. You can actually paint the, the, the base of a tree with the big brush. And let me perhaps show you this. You little called little. this a rigger before, didn't you? I did indeed. Just, just for right. the benefit of those who might be joining our to be honest, class it's for the first time. Yeah, that's right. It was called a rigger. Why? Because people used it to paint the rigging of boats years ago when they were painting a lot of sailing ships and that. In fact, they still do it. Now, we'll add one more colour now, and it's our old friend, the brown. Now, the reason for that is that by mixing brown with the blue, right, and a little bit of the red, I put them all three into it, it's nice, it gives you a nice, you get a nice winey colour, you see it? Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to start the stump of this tree for you, and then you're going to carry on with up the with the blue and the red, you yeah, see? Yeah, that's it, put everything into it, yes, lovely. I'm running out of red already. Again, yeah, well, I can yeah. give you some more of that, I've got plenty of this. Now, now, am I dark enough here? Oh, right? yes, that's lovely. Now, I'll probably wet that brush a little more. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do just the start of the base of the tree, but I'm going to do it with the big brush. Because remember I told you, it's a good idea if you can keep as much of the painting as possible mm -hmm. with the big brush. Now, watch now. Okay. So, from about a third, you see the stump of the tree is not really symmetrical. Uh -huh. Now, once we get a start on it, we now know where we are going, so... And you want me to go up from there? Ah, yes. Let's off you go now. Now, look at what you're doing. Mm. It's a drunken wobble, again. Oh, no, that's good. Yes, that's it. Come on, now wobble out towards me a bit. Yes. Remember that branches are not the same width all the way up, Lee. Look, if you take it, that it, it gets... You see that it starts off, and then it gets thinner and thinner and thinner as you go up. All right? Oh, no, that's it. Now you come in there. Come in on this Oh, line, yes, come I? on up there, yes. Lovely. Oh, that's very good. Yes, wobble. The drunk... Yes, you're getting the drunk but wobble very well, yes. It, you see, the... It's very, I inherited... I find painting on a Sunday morning early is always very good. This. <laughs> <laughs> I was just about to say, I inherited that wobble. It's yeah. not one of my own. Yes, I see you're well practicing <laughs> it, yes. It's, come on, now, you're, you're slacking. Come on, let's stick in some more branches. Yeah, you... That's terrific. Okay. And we come out here now. With another, I'm trying to head towards the moon because I'll tell you what I'm going to do. You know, the old story of the sneaky branch that goes across the moon like that. You know, this only, Ah, yes. See, it's just... I could come out a bit here from well, this I one, think could I not? going pretty good now. No, I think we want to fill in the middle of the tree here. It's a bit weak looking there, isn't it? So, mm -hmm. well, let's get in here and do some. I see. Excellent. Yeah, that'll do. Now, come on up to... Yeah. Yeah, that should be. Don't don't try and don't run it like tram lines. You mm -hmm. see the way those yeah. three there now are beginning to look exactly the same, aren't they? Yeah. So we're going to have to do a little bit of a little bit of cross. Ah, we'll do some you, yeah. kind of. Yeah, that's it. Now look at yeah. that. We we bash the tree. Trees you can bash them about. They're great. They're wonderful things. In fact, people don't look at trees half enough when they're driving around. I find that most of my students, after two or three classes, they come back to me and they say, you know, I never realised what the shapes of trees and how they look and the colours of mountains and all. And this is a fact. If you paint a bit at all, this is the first thing that happens to you. You become observant, or you, you should. Mm -hmm. Now, I think that tree is very nicely. I don't think we should do too much more with that. Uh, our light source is probably coming from there, so we'll darken that a wee bit. Now, let's right. go on now to the base of the tree. The base? I think we're coming along lovely there now. Base of the tree, back to the big brush again. Okay, I'll just and put this down. If we here. look at the base of the tree, it's made up of... I might put a little bit of raw sienna in. So let's put some of that out there. There you go. Oh, what do I mix here? Well, now, let me <clears throat> direct you to the picture again. Look, look at the picture for a moment that we're painting from, and you'll find that there's raw sienna you can see in it. There's some of the blue. Again, I'm relating the colours all the way through. You don't... You see what you do? You make up your darks and your lights from what you have on the palette already. Right. Raw sienna, some blue. Yes, and some red. Some red. Oh, am, am no, I... Right. No, yeah, it's okay. Come this on, get, here. get stuck into it there. there that's it. Okay. Put in some, that's a bit grotty looking. I should put in some more blue if I were you. Some blue on top yeah. of that. That's lovely. Yeah. Is there that right? Maybe a bit more red now, isn't it? Oh, no, you've got plenty of red on the brush. Good. Right, now, look. 
It's on a slant as well, isn't it? So I'll go up this so way. Kind of dab it down now you along. come down along there. Come on now, okay. down towards you. Now, on, that's, now we're gonna put that little, yeah, down a bit more. Come on, keep going down right, that's lovely. Now go on, down. That's very really good. Don't go, now, the last thing you need to do is to over fiddle. That's lovely now, haven't we got a lovely effect there? Mm -hmm. Now, we can, we can just come along now and with a little bit of raw sienna, lighten it down again. See, all we're doing is we're using the one number of paints all the way. Now, at, if sometimes they'll turn to mud on you, you want to then discard them, so to speak, if you add too many. If, if you add, you're always safe adding red and blue for purples and yellows and blues for greens. Mm -hmm. But sometimes if you add too many colours, you'll end up with a dreadful shade of nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's known as that well-known mud. Now, a little bit in there, a little bit in there. Just look, that's any. You put on. some over here. Ah, yes, a little bit there. Lovely. That's perfect. Okay, don't do any more with that because we're going to make room for our little Manny. Now, we won't touch this until we have our tree finished and our little deer in and then we'll finish off our foreground because remember, our paper was our snow, isn't it? I so, see. Yeah. So the more white we leave, the more snowy we look. Okay, uh, now we need to do our branches of our tree. Right. See, if you can, when you're painting a picture, and always remember, well, we've do done the, the branches, thing. the leaves, you mean? The leaves, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the, the twigs and the leaves. And the, yes, What's right. left of them? What's the left snow. of them, yeah. But mm -hmm. always try and do the picture the one way every time, and you get to know then. You won't forget. It's a dreadful thing to have painted all this and then say, oh, my goodness, I've forgotten to put in something behind it. So you right. have to try and fit it in. Keep coming forward all the time, and that's where the famous Have Some More Fun comes in. If you keep working on that principle, mm -hmm. you're fine, OK? Now, now what, what so, colour is? So I think, I think our leaves should should relate to our tree. So let's go into blue. Blue it is. Red and some brown. Now stay away from the yellow. Because if you put blue and yellow together, what do you get? You I get green. I guess a green. Correct. We don't want a green. Blue, red. You don't expect you don't expect leaves of a tree to be green, do you? Not at all. It's, it's a winter scene. Now that's where we're we're not sticking with the colours of nature, are we? We're we're improvising. Well, as we see it. Okay. That's now, it. do I need to be a little well, I bluer? I think you need to be very much bluer than that. And I also think you need a lot more red in it, because you've now almost hit that lovely colour we mentioned about, called uh, mud. More, no, blue. So more blue. A little more bit blue. More blue. A little bit more. Okay. That's good. Now you've got it. Now, okay. So, into right. the middle with it there now. Dabbing you're. again. Dabbing. Corner of the brush. This way. Okay. Into the middle. Now, just said. always check. Well, I tell you why I always do a little bit in the middle first. It lets me see what colour I have. Yeah. If you do it on the outside, you've made a mess of it. It's a bit difficult to undo it. That's lovely. Don't go out near our moon now for the moment. Okay. Absolutely. Okay. Let me just go up here a little bit. Absolutely terrific. Isn't that coming on nicely now? Oh, you now, want me to stay out of that? I wanted to stay out of the moon because I wanted to do the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I like to have the moon. That's why. I always, yes. Yeah. Spoiling, yeah. spoiling my life. fun That's now. Now, right. yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't think we need to do too much more with that as okay. regards to dipping it up a bit. Yeah. So we've got to the stage now of our little man. So, okay, let's put in our little man or our little sheep or our little goat, wherever he is. Now, again, you're into blue. Let me show you this now. Now, what I do with him is... I oh, I have to get the little lad out. I'll put in his little ears first. Let's do that now. Yeah. Now, when I get his little ears in... I'll draw his head, and then you can do his body. How's that? Okay. Now, what colour do I need on this? Dark. Da just a dark shade. I don't care yeah. what you put into it. Okay. It's a dark shade. Uh, something like this one here. The one we've been doing for the branches will be very nice. Okay? Okay. Now, you now, come on I just have, I like your shape. Now, you fill him in now. Okay. There is another brush you can buy at a later stage, which will do this in one swipe for you. But uh, at the moment... You don't no, really need it. overlaps slightly. But well, sure, you can make much. him a bigger deer. Look, the thing is that if you ever do that, just you can always enlarge him. He's, no. You just eat an extra meal or two and you've got a bit bigger. There we are. Look at that. Okay. Now we have a little deer. Now we come down to our foreground. Come on now, let's get at this and we get in some nice brown and red and blue again. And we put a couple of look, little swipes like that. Okay, brown it is. Brown it is. A little blue and red. And a little bit wet on that one, I think. Yeah, we're going lovely okay. now. Okay. Now, look, I just one little thing, Lee, I'll just show you. Just to, There's a shadow under this tree, isn't there? Mm -hmm. So let's create a little shadow, shall we? Look, there we are. Look, are you watching this? There's a little shadow under the tree. Very nice. Now, 
Come on no, down I, here. I have you to know, give you, you fall around. Here. That's the eye. Now you go. No. Now you go. Just, yeah. just a little bit here, a little bit there. That's it. Don't don't draw it in, in straight lines. Yeah. Try and okay. keep it up. And I don't think we can do too much more with that. Take out your little brush, a mm. little, little dab. Come on, get your little brush this time. I will, OK. Yeah, come along now. I'm, I'm becoming engrossed in it. Yes, see, I see that, stage. Yeah, It's becoming very interesting. Well. Yes, very nice. Uh, OK. Now, look, two or three little stalks. One, two, not too many. Any colour at all? A nice dark colour. That's it. Well, come on, add some of the blue to it. Add some the blue. And, okay. come on now. No. OK, anywhere at all. That'll do you. Don't go too big now. They're not, you know, it's not, they're not bushes coming out of the ground. They're only stalks. That's it. See that way. I don't think we can do too much more with that. Let's have a look and see now if we need anything. I think we've got everything we need in it. Yes. Shall we uh, Shall we put the cover on it and see what it looks like? Yes, it looks, it's starting to take shape, yeah. doesn't Should it? Should we maybe just, I'll tell you what, uh, I need to go back and fiddle, but we just have one little branch out of there and I might just, just to smarten it up a bit. And a couple of little daubs there. I hate, there's always a tendency to overdo this because it's so easy to draw an extra few isn't it so much more comfortable to be painting snow indoors? Isn't it, yes. Yes, yes, indeed. I, I never thought of that. I never actually painted it out of doors because I found it was far too awkward. Now, let's uh, have a look at our, if I can get this thing in. Now, let's yes. see. That's, that's our snow escape. Yes, that's, and simply painting. <laughs>